to the show. I am here with Rachel from Go Breck. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? Good. Mardi Gras is around the corner. It's so close. I can't believe that's that's happening. And it's coming up Tuesday, right? Exactly. Yeah. One of my favorite things, you know, about this town, there is always something going on. It's true. Always. In Breckenridge. <laughs> always. Uller, snow sculpture, and now on to Mardi Gras weekend. And yeah, tomorrow's we're just Valentine's. Rolling, rolling right in. Oh, yeah. Valentine's in between. There's always something going on. So, what's more specifically happening for Mardi Gras? So, Mardi Gras, we're changing it up a little bit this year. There's not going to be any kind of parade, but from okay. 2 to 5 p.m. on Tuesday the 17th is going to be a street party right like in it. the Blue River Plaza. Parts of Main Street are going to close down, so it's a great time to bring out the family. You know, kids are welcome at this. Great. Have a really fun time out on, on uh, Main Street Breckenridge. Awesome. And we encourage costumes, masks, boas, beads. Absolutely. Bring it down. I think that, that it's not a requirement, <laughs> but it's highly recommended Indeed. for Mardi Gras. And so you said kids, it's a kind of a whole family friendly event. What mm -hmm. should we kind of expect to see? Sure. So what's going to happen is Chris Daniels and the Kings, they're going to perform all throughout the street party. So that's, again, from 2 to 5 p.m. Horn-driven, jazz kind of influence. It'll be a good time. Perfect, perfect for Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. And then also two fire performers. So great. if you miss them during the Snow Sculpture Championships and the Fire Arts Festival, great time to come on down. These guys are awesome. It's, it's a really good presentation. It's a really good performance. And then also, too, is larger-than-life puppets. So just kind of a cool fun. scene, fun time downtown. And then uh, drink specials from Bud Light. So Awesome. And what time yeah. is all that going on? That's from 2 to 5 p.m. on Tuesday. So. Okay, so that's when you're yeah. going to see the live music, mm -hmm. fire arts, yeah. puppets, costumes. It's going to be a really good energy. Everyone should come out for it. And where is that going to be happening again? It's all just right out here next to the Welcome Center. So parts of Main Street are going to be closed down about Great. a block in each, not quite a block in each direction. It'll be a, a good time. And so you said that you mentioned some drink specials, any food mm -hmm. or anything happening with that as well? So since the party ends at 5 o'clock, what we're encouraging folks to do is head on out to the restaurants. The restaurants mm -hmm. have such great specials this time of year. Um, you know, Spencer's over at Beaver Run, they always have a really great Mardi Gras thing going on, the Mother Loaded, and of course the Lost Cajun, who we all love. Absolutely. Authentic, legit food. So yeah. Yeah, Lots so of options. You can kick off your Mardi Gras events mm -hmm. here and then can, can you continue rolling on down Main Street and enjoying some happy hours, some food, just a little bit of what Breckenridge is all about and kind of getting the flavor of that while enjoying Mardi Gras. Exactly. And where is more details on all of this? So gobreck.com is where you're going to find all the information. It's going to be just details on where to go. And if you do want to stay the night, you know, stay the whole weekend. There's a lot going Absolutely. on Absolutely. It's It'll a great a weekend time. to be up here. Yeah. Exactly. Weather's looking good. So gobreck.com for all that information. And are there, so there's maybe lodging deals on gobreck.com? There are. Yes, great. indeed. Awesome. So definitely check out gobreck.com. Not only can you find details on Mardi Gras, lodging deals, but also some more events coming up in our future because it doesn't it doesn't stop after Mardi Gras. What else is in the near horizon? For so pretty soon we're going to start rolling into all those spring events. So you got sooner it's it's right coming. around the corner. I can't exactly. believe it. Exactly. Yes. And uh, spring, um, you know, throughout March there'll be things going on, and then as we roll into April, that's when you have a concert series on the mountain. So. <laughs> A lot it's of fun tough. stuff to look forward to still. I know it feels like summer, but winter's not quite not quite over yet. We still have mm -hmm. plenty of, of winter left and plenty of events, and Go Brex got you covered for the rest of the season. Mm -hmm. And great awesome. skiing, of course, too. Of course. It's such a good time. Hang out on a deck, have some cocktails. Yes. You can't you can't really go wrong if you're spending the weekend up here. There's tons going on, and it's going to be lots of fun. So, again, gobreck.com. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you for coming in this morning, Rachel. Thanks. Enjoy this beautiful weather. And Thank we'll see you. you on Tuesday. That sounds great. Awesome. All right, we're going to head back to the studio. We're going to take another look at your weather and your snow and weather with Justine and see what's going on out there. And also we're going to take another look at an interview with Jim Tillich from Breck Fine Art. So what's going on back there, Justine?